In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the front CV axle on this Volkswagen GTI. Let's get into it. I'm going to use a 17 millimeter socket, take the lug bolts off. Before I get to the last one, I'm just going to hold the wheel on so it doesn't fall and you grab the wheel and slide it off. We're going to remove the axle nut, use a 12.24 millimeter socket. Take that off. Using a 16 millimeter socket, we're going to take these nuts off for the ball joint. With that separated, this is loose. We're gonna leave this right here for now. We're gonna take these screws out. We're gonna remove this panel. Use a T25 socket. There should be some right there. There's another one over here. And there should be another one right there. Same T25. Take these screws out. Should be one right there, and then these two. Just grab this panel, and just slide that out of the way. Now we're gonna take the axle bolts out. We're gonna use an M10 triple square socket. Use a screwdriver, it doesn't matter whether it's Phillips or straight head, and we're just gonna put it in between the fins for the rotor. That's going to prevent the axle from spinning. I'm going to loosen up one of these bolts. Get that loose. And you can move on to the other ones. You can use the screwdriver to rotate the axle. So we can loosen up the other bolts. Let's get them all loose for first and then we'll take them out. Take all the bolts out. You have these washers, these connected washers, take those off as well. Grab the control arm, pull it down. And I'll just slide this out of the way. This is gonna come off over here. You should be able to slide it out of the knuckle. And pull it right out. And slide the new axle, same way it came out. Get it lined up with the transmission in the knuckle. You can slide the control arm down, get the lower ball joints lined up. Take the spacer or washers and the bolts, get those started.
use an eight millimeter hex key to get the bolt started. And continue with the other ones. We're going to start by torquing these to seven foot pounds. And you want to alternate. got that one then we're gonna go completely to the other side so count two and the third one we want to torque that one to seven as well right there Skip over that one, go to the next one. Then the complete opposite of that, so count two, this one. Skip this one, that one's already tight. And move to this one, this one's loose. Tighten that to six or seven foot pounds. be the last one and then they're all snug and we're going to go around again okay, that's tight now we're going to torque these to 51 foot pounds you might have to hold the rotor from spinning just with the screwdriver And we're going to do the same thing, go to the completely opposite side. So count two and go to the third one. So those two opposites have been torqued. Now skip this one, go to the next one, and torque this one. Skip 
skip this one, skip the next one. This is the opposite of that last one. This one should already be torqued. Let's double check it. Yep, that one's already torqued. So move to the next one. It's okay if you torque them again, don't worry about it. All right, that's good. And then do the opposite of this one. Pass that, pass that one. And this should be the last one. joint nuts on. Get those started. We'll torque these to 44 foot pounds. Take the new axle bolt, get that started. Snug that down. You're gonna take two of the lug studs, get those started. Just sliding a pry bar, just to prevent this from spinning. Now we're going to torque this nut to 147 foot-pounds. Then you want to go in an additional 180 degrees if you have a torque angle meter. If you don't, do the best you can. You can mark the socket and just go 180 degrees. good. Now remove the pry bar and the lug studs. Now slide this panel in place. started. And a couple underneath. If you have any more, put those in place. And we'll snug those down. Put the wheels on, get 
those lined up. Get the lug bolt started. Snug those down. Now I'm going to torque the lug bolts to 90 foot pounds in a cross pattern to tighten the wheel down evenly. Just go around again, double check. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.